When you think of Scotland's landscapes, what comes to mind? Probably mountains, dramatic, daunting, magnificent, snow-covered mountains, perhaps with an eagle or two soaring around them? But like much of Scotland, our mountain habitats are changing as the climate is changing. The species that live in these high, remote places, golden eagle, ptarmigan and mountain hare, are all feeling the pressure. These species have a specific set of conditions in which they thrive. Change those conditions and they start to struggle, like a fish out of water. Higher temperatures in the mountains means less snow for much of the year. And if you're an animal that turns white in winter, this is a problem. A white hair on white snow is a safe hair. Take the snow away and that same hair is much more vulnerable to predators. Animals like mountain hares and ptarmigan have evolved to live in these mountains over thousands of years, but now conditions are changing too fast for them to adapt. Instead of blending in, they stand out. So if you're a hare, you move uphill, chasing the winter conditions. But other hares will do the same, meaning more competition for fewer resources. Populations become fragmented and unable to mix, leading to loss of genetic diversity. This is just one consequence of a rapidly changing climate. Higher temperatures also results in plants flowering at the wrong times, affecting when insects are abundant, which is time to coincide with when birds breed. Everything gets out of sync and fragile ecosystems start to struggle, even collapse. So how can rewilding help the animals that rely on our mountains? Well, we need to start restoring our upland forests and peatlands so that they can lock in carbon and minimise temperature rises. This means more snow for longer, which means more wintry habitat for the species that need it. Woodlands at high altitude also provide valuable shelter and natural corridors for animals to move around. So when you look up at Scotland's mountains, think of them not only as a spectacular backdrop, but as a complex living system made up of plants, insects and animals struggling to adapt to a changing world. And it's a world that we're part of, a world that ties us together with every other living creature. As the famous Scottish naturalist John Muir once said, when we try to pick out anything by itself, we find it hitched to everything else in the universe.